Arthur Blake has been competing in motocross for over 20 years. The 10-time national champion has seen both the highs and lows of the sport in Uganda. He's the proud owner of three competition bikes. He does his own repairs and maintenance but admits it is more expensive to race now than when he first joined the sport. Racing in the early 90s, I, I must say, was cheaper than racing today. Uh, for, first of all, the level of competition was um, much lower and therefore we did not have to train harder, practice more, unlike today whereby the, the level of competition has, in, has risen, the bar has lifted and uh, you have to train more, to practice more, to be able to compete today and win, win races. It costs a local rider here about $800 to prepare for races. It is even more expensive for competitions and the lack of sponsorship makes it hard for some riders to compete in every race. Riders also have to pay taxes for their competition bikes and accessories. They too are expensive. Still, the riders here are more passionate about the sport than they are about money. We've come a long way and there's still a ladder to climb. We still have to go to the next level. But how are we going to get there? On, we can only get there with more support from government and the corporate world. Uganda is home to over 100 riders who race in more than 10 events a year. The majority of them are young and get support from parents. Despite the financial constraints holding back progress of motocross, the country's riders continue to succeed. We have proven records. The Uganda Motocross team won the 2012 Africa Motocross Championship. I mean, soccer cranes is still struggling to win the Africa title. We have already proved ourselves, and I think that government needs to step in and support the local young talent. We have a lot of young talent. In a recent championship, Uganda upstaged rivals Kenya to take the lead in the Central Africa Motocross Championship. And for the many riders, there is still optimism that one day it will cost less to compete on these trucks. Leon Senyanke, CCTV, Kampala.